Welcome back to the channel guys, Dan here at Vivid Racing and today I've brought a super connoisseur of modifying cars because we're going to start a whole new project series here and that is how we would build the ultimate car. We've got Adam here, our operations director here of Vivid Racing and we are going to figure out today how to build the ultimate Supra. And we're talking about the A90, the Mark V, MK5. What you guys think is cool, what we think is cool, what he thinks is cool might be different. So follow along and see what we choose and make sure to leave your comments below and tell us what you think of what we've chosen. Let's dive into it. All right, so Mark V, is it Mark V or MK5? Do you say Mark V? Mark V, 100% Mark V. Okay, I don't know if that's VW language or not. So, so Mark V Supra came out, everyone is, hyped up about this thing it's been out for what a year two years now so much looking like a bmw it's called the zupra how do you dive in to make this thing the ultimate supra you just bought one you got yourself a 2020 a90 because you didn't want to get the a91 just want to save some bucks down here what are you going to use that super for i mean just on the street daily wheels tires exhaust gotta dial that thing and otherwise what's the point of even driving it all right so are you are you someone that wants, do you, do you need the big body kits, the big wings, or you just want the stealth power performance? I feel like stock body performance, something low, something with decent fitment on it. That's the big uh, question here is there's a lot of guys that want all go, no show, and there's some of us want all the show and if it goes. Let's dive in here to the website and let's pick out some parts of what I would do and what you would do. And let's see who builds the better ultimate Supra. First mod everybody does to any car because the factory wheels and ride height suck. Step one, wheels, what are you going with? Man, gotta be forged, 100%. I would go with probably TE37s, Rays, solid choice. TE37s, most well-recognized Volk Racing wheel forged from Japan. I had a set back in 2003 that dates me. So are, what are we doing? Forge, are we doing 19s, are we doing 20s? Do we go down to 18s because we're drag racing? Man, I mean, 19 is such a solid size. I feel like it does look good on the car if it's lowered with the right fitment. But if it was me and my car on the Supra, it's a bigger body car now, I'd probably go up to 20s. All right, so 20s, 20s is a good fitment. We've done those before when we had our own Project Super. I think it was a 20 by nine, 20 by nine and a half and a 20 by 11, which definitely was a good fitment. I do think that Volk TE 37s are an amazing wheel and everybody runs those, but I gotta go with something way crazier. I need more flair, I need more spokes. I think I'm gonna do a custom set of rotiforms, kind of like I had when I had my Macan. I need those LS-ARs, spokes everywhere, fake center lock things and i and i need i need concavity i need to feel like i can go in there and just eat out of it i'm going rotiforms oh, so we got volts versus rotiforms we're not even going to get into tires yet because that's going to depend on what you're using the car for track guy street guy drag guy so 20 inch wheels that battle is concluded now we need to get the supra lowered because you're gonna have that wicked gap and everybody know that gap sucks suspension what are you doing oh man i mean there's so many options now there's a few brands out there that are always king like Olean's. Uh, you can always go kw the cool thing about the super is it has fantastic shocks from the factory so kw has kits are freaking phenomenal nowadays i mean if i was going Going nuts, I'd probably do Oleans or like KW V3s or maybe Club Sports. But I mean, at the end of the day, if it was my car and I had to well, pick. Well, it is. This is, your, this is your dream build, your ultimate build. You I gotta mean, pick. Ultimate build. There's no budget. Ultimate no build, budget. no budget. I gotta go JRZ over Oleans, honestly, at the end of the day. I mean, that is a freaking phenomenal setup and they're, they're pretty impossible to beat. JRZ, I'm a KW guy. I've had Always KWs good. on my Porsches. I love the V3s. So you've got the car lowered, you went JRZ, you went Volks. I went a little bit of show, Rotiforms and KWs. It's very you. It is, it is very me, very, very, you. very me. Next up is, are we drag racing or street driving? I'm street driving. Street, 100% street. Okay, street driving. I'm doing 295s and 265s up front. I'm going with a tire that works on everything, and that's gonna be a Michelin Pilot Sport. I don't know if it's the Sport 4, Cup 4. There's so many 4s out right now. Sport Cups. Sport and Cup. Sport Cups are fantastic. If you're driving this thing on the, I mean, yeah, Sport Cups are great. I'll, I'll go Sport Cups. Sport Cup, that's the sticky one, so it's like. Yeah. 
stick it stops. Okay. Sport car. Another alternative though, in case, you know, even though we don't have a budget, is the Toyo Proxies R triple eights. I wasn't even gonna go there. I was just gonna go for the street pro the street oh, no. ones. No but, way. But because R triple eights. Because it's the ultimate Supra, this thing's gonna have a lot of horsepower. R triple eights on the rear isn't a bad idea for that grip. So, I mean, does my budget end after the build or can I just replace these tires every month? No, you actually have won the, the car build lottery. So you have, you can, you can continue. You can replace tires every day if you want. R triple eights. Okay, R triple eights it is. All right, now let's go into the performance side of it. The three liter turbocharged Supra makes stock 300 horsepower, 300 horsepower basically the same engine you find in the Z4. The B58 engine is a very good platform and being that it comes 300 horsepower, you do some basic mods to it, you're gonna get a good increase. And that difference in horsepower and where we wanna go with that, that's gonna depend on what you want for the ultimate build. Me, I like function, usability, a little bit of setability. I don't really need to, you know, smoke the tires every three seconds. So I'm gonna start my build with an exhaust, an intake, an ECU tune. And if I'm crazy, call me crazy. Crazy. I'm gonna do some meth, some water meth, water meth kit. Water meth. Yeah, not just not just the meth. Got it. The water meth. Got it. No breaking bad. So I'm thinking here, and I gotta say it, exhaust, our new VR performance titanium exhaust because it's lightweight. And we got to save weight somewhere. We're not, we don't all have this amazing physique. So I'm going to do the <laughs> titanium, titanium VR performance exhaust. It is amazing. It is fantastic. It works with the stock valve. So when you press the sport button, you go wah, wah. That works perfect. Up front intake, unlimited budget. Unlimited budget. Eventuri, carbon fiber oh, intake. Absolutely. Yeah, it's like art. I want to pop that hood and I want to have so eventually intake, 100%. ECU tune, so that, you know, it's all over. If, if we're not going to the thousand horsepower yet, and we're just looking for a good- just, I thought this was an ultimate build. Okay, I'm, what I'm, do, pure, I'm pure turbos. I'm doing pure turbos. Pure 800, turbos. Horse, 800 horsepower. Horsepower. Pure, <laughs> horsepower, 800 horsepower, pure turbos, like we did in our other video, where I raced that thing against my GT3 RS and did that. We're doing the 800 horsepower turbo. I know that works. I know it's fast as heck. That's what I'm doing, and to do that, we use the EcuTech software to do the custom tuning that uh, that we did on that car. Yeah. So I'm doing VR performance exhaust. Absolutely. I'm probably not gonna do a downpipe and <laughs> I'm gonna do the Titan Motorsports water meth kit. Absolutely. 100%. Pure turbos. Do those have injectors? Yeah, that comes with injectors. Injectors and then the Eventuri intake. I think we're both in agreement that we're both doing the pure turbos. Pure turbos, charge pipes, sure. inner cooler. It's hot like crazy in Arizona. Yeah, but we're doing meth. So all the other times is it doesn't matter if it's when hot or not. When you're doing meth, it doesn't matter what we're, temperature it is outside. Yeah, it doesn't matter because we're, we're yeah, fast. Yeah, doesn't quick. matter. So I'm gonna look probably a little bit more stylish with my rotiforms down there. You're gonna be more functional with your Volk wheels. We both have tons of power, but it doesn't matter if you're fast, what do you look like? What is the exterior of your Super A90 going to look like? I mean, better than yours. I mean, I'm just, I chose the right setup. All right, let's go. Let's go to, let's go to body kits. Let's look at body kits here. Super A90. There's some crazy awesome aero kits out for this car right now. Why? Body. Oh, whoa. The Pandem kit for the freaking A90 Supra is out of this world. Absolutely ridiculous. Yes. Pandem <laughs> body kit, that's the way to go. The Supra is known from the previous MK4 to have that big arched wing, and that's what everybody knows, the love of those. So I'm actually gonna go with- Are you going pedestals or are you going like- No, I need a GT wing because I wanna make sure that I look like I should be going fast with downforce. Got so it. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the APR performance Supra wing, and that's gonna leave the nice little duck lip that's factory on the Supra, but I'm gonna get that big GT style wing that actually does have functional downforce and the carbon fiber looks good. And if I'm at that, I could do APR's front wind splitter as well, or I could even go with something more extreme, such as the VR Aero carbon fiber Aero kit. It's gonna look nice, little, little this, this, and that. Okay. It's gonna be very clean with my wheels and my stance and my color and my hood open. It's gonna look great. If you're doing the forged carbon, the question- 100% forged carbon. Yellow carb, white vaults, forged carbon, money. Okay. 
What are you doing for a wing? Man, I haven't thought that far ahead yet. Even though that's all you were just talking about. Oh, let's look up here. Supra wings. Oh, here's an idea. If you want to get crazy, if you want to get crazy, HKS has their GT wing. Comes only in FRP. It's one of those that, what do they call it? A bolt to the back. Chassis mount. But chassis mount wing, old guy. Chassis mount <laughs> wing. It's got aggressive, looks like um, Rolex series race car-esque. And because it comes in FRP and it's got the big aluminum uprights, you can paint match it to your yellow car. No. And you get that license plate you've always wanted called Banana. <laughs> All right, so you've got Arrow, I've got Arrow. So far, it looks like we've got some similar cars. The thing needs brakes though, man. I mean, honestly, the brakes that come on there are, are good. They're nice, but BMW makes better brakes and they didn't choose to put them on this BMW Supra. So yeah, if you're going, if you're going to have 800 horsepower and you're not done there, because remember your, your budget's still there. You actually have a sugar daddy that gave you a blank check. And so you're able to buy those Toyos every Tuesday. <laughs> and now Toyo you Tuesdays. Can, Toyo Tuesdays. And now you have so much money that you can just get. Do they make carbon ceramics? Mm, no. So Brembo's on the front, two piece floating rotors means that you're gonna get amazing braking because it's gonna dissipate that heat, the clamping force. And I'm gonna do them on the front and rear. And I'm gonna do drilled rotors because they look cooler. What do you think about that? Go. I mean, yeah, they look way cooler. So I, I just won? I guess, maybe. All right, I thought you'd be more of a slotted guy. Now, the inside, it looks like a BMW on the inside. It is a BMW on the inside. The It's hard to get in because it has a cut roof and the seats are kind of like... Recaro. Oh, we're putting Recaros in there. Okay, that's what you're doing. <laughs> so basically what I'm saying is, is interior upgrade, absolute must. So we're gonna go Recaros. Which Recaro seats for yours? Oh my gosh, I mean, Podiums, 100% podiums. Podiums, what are those? Are those like, those are those wicked carbon ones, aren't they? Yeah. The coolest seat to come out of the past decade from Recaro. Absolutely ridiculous. Carbon buckets, like there's no actual like seat padding. It's like individual pads, like Velcro to the carbon. This Insane. is, this is uh, I'm gonna say this is the hands down coolest seat. I know you have an unlimited budget, but they are $3,100 retail a seat. I'm guaranteeing you have at least one friend and you need two, plus seat brackets, sliders. So that's gonna be about $6,500 in the coolest seats ever. Are they gonna be comfortable for you? You see me? I'm small. Mm -hmm. All right, so. I can get one like normal ErgoMed for you and then maybe like uh, one of those for me. Yeah, let me look up Jeep password. bench seats for me. Hold on a <laughs> So having had, I don't, I don't wanna, what do they call that when you just like talk about how cool you are? So I've had three Porsches with those carbon bucket seats. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, they suck to get in and out of. And I need- When you get old, something that happens to you, uh, you start to get like brittle and, and like rigid. What are the reclinable ones that are the awesome? They actually have heat built into them so you can really, you know, heat heat the back. Heat the back, warm yourself up. Yeah. Sports like CSs. Sportster CSs, that is it. Recaro Sportster CSs. Sportster GTs are newer and they're a little bit like more flashy. The CS is classic. They brought it back. They discontinued it and the whole world went nuts. Mm. So it's something that you can get again and it's what, honestly timeless. What, what color What color is my Supra? Blue. So you, you mean knowing you probably want to do something like, I don't know, red seats or something? Well, the nice thing about the CS is they do have different colors. You can do a full leather, out interior, inside different white leather whatnot i'm probably gonna have some carbon fiber bits in there and maybe you know maybe some nice paddles to match it because you can't get it in a manual oh pick your seats so we can move on to the next thing. okay i'm getting the repair <laughs> sportster seats and i need blue to match the inside so i'm gonna custom order those and with that i'm gonna use the stock seat belts i don't think you can do that with your carbon seats so you need seat belts i do need harnesses what harnesses would you do oh man unlimited budget Unlimited budget? I mean, I went yellow. Honestly, I mean, for the price, Braum does make killer harnesses in some really cool colors. They are Their seats all are really FIA nice approved. too. Their seats are really, really nice. Their seats are good. Um, they make FIA approved stuff and the quality of them hands-on is really fantastic. You've got your Brahms. I think the Brahms would be delish. I'm stock seatbelts because I don't need to mess with that stuff. And you know what? My 800 horsepower with my style and everything else, I'm fine. I'll be strapped in, I'll be locked and loaded. And I'm sure my factory BMW Supra steering wheel airbag will protect me fine. 
I don't know if you're gonna get crazy with the JDMness and go with something like a personal steering wheel no. with a, what are those crazy hubs called? Nardi, Nardo, Nard, Nards, Nardi? Quick releases, you're talking yeah, about yeah, the, the quick release. I'm talking about the quick releases. Yeah. What are those off. called? So Somebody? It's, it's called a quick release. Yeah, fine, whatever. Okay. You know what? That super steering wheel is a decent size, but back when I had my Mitsubishi Evo 8 in 2003, <laughs> I had one of those super cool quick releases. I actually had the Sparco one, which they still make that same one, and you pull it back and the wheel comes off. You yeah. can drive down the street, take your wheel off, and see if you could go in a straight line and hopefully get it back on. But don't do that. Don't do that. But the size of the steering wheel for that makes it makes you feel like you're in a yeah. much more aggressive car because you don't want to be driving like this. You want something where you feel you're you're part of it. Yeah, part I totally it. agree. I would get a custom steering wheel. I would, I would get a modified custom steering wheel for the Say car. Say what? Flat bottom. Let me fiber see if match. they have this. Vivid Racing steering wheel. Definitely Supra. not a plug at all. Yes. So that is something I didn't even think about that. Look, there's an energy uh, steering wheel hub. Yeah, there. that's Weird. a Celica. This isn't Celica day. Okay, so you've got Volks, JRZs. You went with a VR Aero forged carbon complete kit. Did you do a chassis mount wing? I feel like it's not aggressive enough for a chassis mount wing. I'll probably do like a ducktail wing, something small, a little trunk mount. Like the smooth. old school Duluc carbon wings on the Subaru WRXs. So you did that, you did the Recaro podiums. podiums, the right choice, and you did some yellow Brom belts yep. with a custom forged carbon steering wheel yep. from Vivid Racing. And you did the Pure 800 kit yep. with what exhaust? VR Titanium. Okay, VR Titanium exhaust. Not an intentional plug. And the eventure intake. Yeah, 100% eventure. Okay. Very similar here. Well, I don't. I mean, we're agreeing on a lot of topics. Yeah, these these aren't hard. actually. These are not plugs. These are just. I mean, it's, it's the way you do it. You know, I I wouldn't mind doing like a crazy wide body and something, but no, I just want some really cool flowy functions. So mine, I got some Rotiform LAS dash Rs, some deep lip to them. Let me eat some salad out of there. I want KW HAS sleeve coilovers so I can still have my soft and my firm yes. button because I'm driving on the streets. I did the regular carbon fiber VR aero kit okay. with a APR carbon GT wing. So it gives me that kind of aggressive look. Inside Recaro SPGs? Sports or CSs. Recaro Sports or CSs. <laughs> so that's what I did. I did the custom carbon fiber Vivid Racing steering wheel. I need the flashy LED and I like the Alcantara grips on my hands. I have a blue car, so I went blue stitching. Okay. And of course I put a blue Vivid Racing sticker on there, but I think that's I think I think that's where the build is. So my build's done, your build's done. Now the question is is did we both pick good parts and what would you do to build the ultimate Supra? So leave your comment down below. Tell us what you think about that. Make sure you follow this new series here on the Vivid Racing YouTube channel. So click that link and subscribe and we will see you guys at the next one.